Okay, guys, so what I have here is just a my large suitcase there. And that's the standard big suitcase. I don't know what size it is, but it's a Samsonite. And it's pretty durable. Um, I have a couple hard shell sets, but um, these work a lot better when you're trying to pack them really good and put in a lot more items. Um, I use my hard sets. Um, once or twice when we only did a week or so um, vacation, but not for my two weeks. So, um, so these are some packing cubes that I ordered, and I ordered these from AliExpress. And if I can figure out how to leave a link, I will do that. Um, I'm not very technical, so I may put that there. It may not, but it's on AliExpress. And they were like $22 for a set of two, four, five, for a set of five. And so what I do is, so for my pants or shorts and skirts or whatever that I'm going to wear, I iron all of those up first and then I pack them, um, lay them flat inside of the, um, the packing cube. So, and that's like... 14 bottoms there so it's has a lot of space in there and it zips up just fine um, obviously it's a little difficult to do that while I'm holding this camera but yeah this is the larger size and it it even has more space than what I actually need but it does zip up just fine And then for the the next size, um, I just have my tops in here. So what I do with those, I press them, make sure everything is ironed because on the cruise ship, obviously you can't have an iron. And um, instead of being wrinkled all for the for two weeks, I just iron them up. But I don't zip this up and I don't pack this until like the day the night before. That way they can stay as um, Increase wrinkle free as possible, but it's uh, big enough to hold 14 actually 15 or 16 shirts I have in here, so that's pretty good size and has no problem zipping that up. But like I said, I'm not gonna zip that up, I'm not gonna close it, I'm not gonna put it in the suitcase until you know we're actually getting ready to go. Um, like I said, the night before or something, so I just use sit, leave that sitting on the side. And these were other, this was another packing cube set that I got from AliExpress. And um, it's, it's lasted for many, many um, packings. But, and I just used this one to keep um, my underwear and, you know, bras and things like that and uh, camisoles or whatever. So I'll use that for that. And that one is about 14 inches by eight inches or so pretty big pretty uh, okay size and this one here i didn't tell you the size on that one but this is about uh i don't know what size that is but it is really big it's it's i'm very happy that i got that i will be getting another one of this d sets here because they're just that durable um very nice fabric or waterproof fabric and um, holds a lot of items okay and then so I'm using this smaller one I have all of my gym stuff in here uh, several pair of shorts several shirts socks and that's what that's for um, and again when you get on the ship it's easier to co compartmentalize things and you don't have to you know kind of you know search for items so when you put this in your suitcase you know you'll have everything like if you were looking to say, oh, I wonder if I put that in there. You don't have to pull out all of your items to see if you got something. You can just kind of pull out the one bag and look for that. And then it comes with a, another bag. And although it says here, I guess it indicates this is for underwear, I mean uh, swimwear. But I have my plugs in here. also have um, like my little bag that I'm going to, my cell phone bag, have some and we have some uno cards some skip cards 
outlet. And then I have this, um, my little Amazon um, movie thingy. So I'm going to see what we can do with that. I did read something on, I saw something on YouTube about somebody being able to use that with your Wi-Fi on the ship. On the, So we'll see. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'll definitely let you know if it does. And um, get my standard plugs. Um, the European plug that comes with uh, has a um, couple spots for American outlets. And then it has two USB, but it's a European converter plug. So that's what that is. So that's what that bag is for. And this bag here, <laughs> I did... It's a pretty nice size as well. It's smaller than the uh, the other two, but I put in two sweaters in here, and then I have I just put the sweaters in just because I don't know what the weather's gonna be like there. Um, and then I just have pajamas in this bag because if you know me, I love pajamas. <laughs> if I could, I would just wear pajamas on the whole ship the whole time, but. I love pajamas and I love to be warm. So that's what that's for. Got my regular house shoes. So I'm gonna actually stick those in here and then put my sweaters on top of those. And it zipped up just fine. Like I said, it, it um, compresses and zips up just fine. And now uh, let's see what else we have. And this was just another set that I had from who knows when. It's been around since Skip was a pup. But I have lots of, you know, a little bit of this and that. Here's some um, cologne and just different things. Miniature colognes. I use those instead of buying, I mean, bringing the big ones. I'll just use like the little miniature colognes and stuff. That's my little Jimmy Choo. Can't do, go without Jimmy Choo there. Have some um, Bath and Body Works. Japanese Cherry Blossom. My hand soap. Never go leave without that. I only need one for two weeks. It'll last me for two weeks. But if you have multiple people using it, then you'll probably want more than one. Uh, Mr. doesn't use this, so um, he used the bar soap for his hands. Got some Vaseline. And got my lotion. Um, you see this little plastic on here. So in order to keep it from spilling out, I, um, let me see if I can show you. So in order to keep it from spilling out, I just put a piece of plastic wrap around the top of that. And then when it's, while I'm traveling, it doesn't go anywhere. So just put a little piece of plastic on top of your containers and it'll keep it from spilling during uh, flights or whatever during travel. So I do that with like my mouthwash as well. I put a piece of plastic over it. That way it's uh, spill proof. So and same thing. And I just get these little bottles. I think I got these from Amazon and I put plastic on there. But this is just alcohol. I never leave home without alcohol. Alcohol kills a lot of germs and stuff. And then makeup remover. Put a little plastic on there. And that way you don't have to take the full bottle. A little Japanese cherry blossom body. What is this? Body, body wash? So take that and you don't have to, again, don't have to take the full bottle. Just piece, put a piece of plastic wrap on there and... Keep it from spilling out. And let's see what else we have. So this is this little thing came with this one. There's just a little set, so that's what I have for that. Um, and I have my uh, my black soap. I like that. And then we have our air fresheners. We'll use our air fresheners. Never leave home without some wipes. 
Um, you can use these at the uh, cruise ship bathroom, but you cannot put them in their toilet, okay? So, I have a couple of those. And then my, uh, this little thing here, just take it just in case. You never know when you're going to need it, not need it. Um, you got some vitamin C, you got some Tums, antacids, you got some melatonin in there. If you can't sleep, take some melatonin. And then we have our BC and Goody because these are excellent pain relief uh, medications, just powder. Um, so you can just pop that in your mouth if you had a headache. They will sell stuff on the ship, but it is quite expensive. So I suggest if you have the space, just toss one or two in your bag. That way you can have that and don't have to pay for it. Have me some Vicks, just in case. Like I said, this is something that I carry anytime, every time I go on a cruise. Lint roller, cigarette lighter, and then, uh, you know, the little Tide washout, whatever, whatever. Always have me a sewing kit with some string and some scissors, nail clippers, band-aids. <laughs> yes, um, the cruise ship would not get any extra money from me from going to their medical supply or their little store thing they have. They have a vending machine with all this stuff in it, you know, but you can feel free to, I mean, bring your own, or if you just, you know, got the extra that you don't mind spending on the ship for that, then by, by all means, do you, boo? Because I don't want to spend the money for that. When I have this stuff right here, I can just toss it in my bag. But yeah, that's what I have in my bag. This little pouch came with this set and um actually has a couple other things to go with it but i just have jewelry in here um all my jewelry i usually kind of uh, oops so i usually put the jewelry in um different little pack little um, plastic bags and that way you can just grab what you need when you need it but that's a bag of little jewelry, so that takes up no room in my suitcase. And last but not least, I have this bag that came with the other set, and it is just something to hold my shoes. So, but I'll use that, um, put that in that other suitcase um, because I don't have room in this big one for that. So, um, we see how we can get this all packed up, and I'll I'll be back.